Hello everyone, my name is Mike. In this video, I'll show you how you can integrate PayPal in React so you can do PayPal payments as well as credit card payments that doesn't require someone to have a PayPal account. So let me show you how it works. So I have an input just so I can put a dynamic amount. Now the next step is to choose what payment I want to use, either PayPal or credit card. So I'll use PayPal first. And as you see, I, I'm getting a pop-up. I can log in with my account and make the payment. And with credit card, if I use credit card right here, and I don't have to create an account. As you see, I can either create an account, but I can choose to not create an account. So it doesn't require an account for that. So let me show you how we can do that. First of all, we're gonna use a component called react paypal button v2 and what that allows us to do is be like five lines of code make a paypal payment and generate the whole thing right here using the client id right here that we're gonna get from paypal and i'll show you how we're gonna do that so as you see this paypal button has an amount has on success that gives us some data after the payment is successfully and the client ID which I'll show you how we can get right now so first of all go down to the description and click the link that says PayPal app creation and what we will do is select sandbox but I'll show you how to do live payments also and live means that this will be with real transactions and not fake ones but sandbox is just for testing so i'll start with sandbox so i'll do create app for the app name put a, just a random name or your app name actually then you want to select a business account here this is a test account that we will be able to log in so we can verify that our payments works and we actually got the money but that's fake money of course so i'll click create app now as you see here after you successfully create your app you'll get a client id a secret that we don't want and the sandbox account and that's okay just leave them like they are right here so to log into that business account first of all go under sandbox click accounts but I'll have a link for that also in the description so right here find the business account and click view and edit account now as you see it gives us the email ID and a system generated password so now what we can do is type sandbox payable and this is the same as paypal almost but it's for sandbox accounts so i'll click login and as you see our account starts with 5000 euro or 5000 usd so i'll leave it open for now this account will be the account we will work with so the business account will receive the amount but we will make the transaction with a personal account now let's see how we will do it with the live version so let's go back to my apps and credentials and click live method click create app and here it asks you only for the app name again i will do test one two three four and click create app as you see the app is created so as you see right now we will get paid on my account and we actually got a client id so now it's the same process on the development so if you want to create a sandbox uh, payment then you will put the client id for the sandbox account but if you want to do a production payment then you will put the live client id 
So first of all, let's go ahead and create a React app. I'll open command line. CD to my desktop and do npx create React app client. And that's the name of my app. Actually, I'll do front end. Okay, so the app is created. Now I'll do CD front end to go to my app. And then I'll open it on the Visual Studio code. Now inside source, I'll go to app.js and then I'll go to the documentation to copy paste the example. Okay, let's, let's make it a hook. I'll take this. And replace that with this. Okay, great. By the way, I'll have the code down in the description. Okay, so now our next step is to download this module and to do that I'll just do mpmi that's the save I do that's a save in case I want to run my code deployed so while that downloads let's take a look on the documentation again so As you see, we have an options prop that we can pass our client ID. Now, as you see, it doesn't have to be the production client ID that it says here. You can put both of them. And then also take a currency. So let me show you. First of all, on success, what I will do is oh, do the alert and then also Concept the log those data details and data. So for the amount, I'll quickly create an input, but for now, let me pass the options first. So we have a client ID. Now also pass the currency. You can check all the other props too, but for this video, I'll just use those. So for currency, I'll use euro. Actually, I'll do USD, but you can put almost any currency, like a lot of currencies. So now let's replace our client ID with our Swanbox client ID. Now I'll choose my app name, test, and go get my client ID, copy it, and just paste it here. Now is my module downloaded yep it is so i'll do npm run start to run my app to run react also what i'll go ahead and do is create the input for the amount as we want this to be dynamic so i'll wrap this in a div create an input I'll say type number and then I'll say just close it here and on change I want to save that so I'll create a use state I'll get from react And then on change again, I'll do event and then get an event and then store the e.targeted value. By the way, the process is almost the same for the class and not hook. Just uh, replace the on change with this dot set state instead. But it's the same thing, it works the same. So after I set state, let me replace the name here. Okay, I'll start with zero. I'll put the state right here. And then I'll also put value equals state. And that's it. So 
so now let's go to my app refresh and let's say i want to do 10 usd now as you see we have two options we can use our credit card and it doesn't require you to log in with paypal or you can use paypal so let me close this click paypal now you see we have a pop-up window so i'll go to my personal and then view edit and then copy paste now click remember me and click login okay i'll save it why not and as you see i'm using this account right now and if i do a uh, pay now uh, as you see right now my account my business account that will receive the money the test money is at five thousand so once i do the payment and uh, let me do that i'll click pay now now if i refresh as you see here's my eight euro and 28 cents because that's how much usd is when it's converted to euro and that's it so now let me show you how you can get the credit card so you want to go back to your developer paypal.com page and then under tools go to test credit card generator but for this to work i have to replace my client id with my sandbox id again and now you should see generate credit card and now generate any credit card you can do visa mastercard american express and any other credit card i'll do a random one let's do american express and then for country i'll use any random country doesn't matter let's use the united states so i'll do generate credit card and then get the data so let's go back to my react app refresh now do 10 use the credit card and copy paste the data actually gave me a pop-up now but sometimes it doesn't sometimes it does try it and as you see transaction completed by mike it worked i hope you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe it will really help me as i'm trying to reach that 1000 subscribers mark and then hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos bye bye